I think within each one of us, there's a yearning to tell a story and to share it with the world. We all saw a film at some point and we said, wow, the world has changed. I want to do that. Images are the primary representation of the people. So if you don't see your story being told, it's very hard to have a context through which to live. I kind of found Firelight just by doing a Google search. And I remember reading the description and I said to myself, wow, this is a place that will want me. I may find a home here. Just meeting with the, the rest of the, the fellows, it's amazing because everybody's going through the same, same thing. I do remember the first time I went to a Firelight retreat. I could actually just be myself, bring my own experience, and that was actually a valuable thing. Making films makes you very vulnerable. You're always putting yourself out there, and there is no more supportive community than the Firelight community. One of the difficulties of documentary filmmaking in general is being trapped in your own bubble. I come from a family where there are no artists, no filmmakers, no journalists. You're in this thing kind of by yourself or with your team, and you just need perspective. You just need support. You just need other filmmakers. And I think that's what Firelight has been able to provide. That's so rare. That discussion and that discourse is really important. It keeps us motivated. And it's that sort of camaraderie that I think makes the lab pretty unique you have an infrastructure to really help you get to the finish line versus sort of wandering in the wilderness. As a first time filmmaker, it can be very hard to get support. You may not have the credits that you need, but you have this amazing project. Half the battle is trying to find out who to work with, where you can get the money to support your project, and how you can sort of validate your journey. Often, um, these films are very hard social issues, and so the check-in, sort of the emotional check-in that the lab provided was very helpful. They understand what we're trying to do here, and I, got, I just get the feeling that they don't want anything other than to help us succeed, and that's hard to come by. You have also a year or two of mentorship. It's not just a weekend or a week, it's actually they stick with you. They paired me with an amazing story editor who helped me really hone my story. They helped me with an engagement consultant. And it's been really game changing, particularly for a filmmaker like me. I am I live in Hawaii, so I don't bump into filmmakers. I don't bump into distributors. I don't bump into people in the same way I might if I was living in New York or LA. It's a close knit, down the street, round the block organization. The lab really genuinely wants you to succeed, and so they're there with you to the end. It's helped me um, be brave. It's helped me kind of push me out my comfort zone. It's cool to be with filmmakers from around the country and realize that we're kind of in this wonderful creative struggle together. It really does take a village to make a documentary film, and this is a great village to be part of.